welcome back to my channel. My name is Holly. This is She Reads. Today we're going to be going through another, yes, yet another haul. <laughs> so I have been buying books like crazy lately and I don't like, that's not typically me. Um, but a lot of them have been from used bookstores and like thrift stores and stuff like that. So it's pretty rare these days that I like go out and like especially go to a bookstore, a new bookstore and drop a bunch of money on books unless they're on sale. Like I pretty much don't ever buy books that aren't on sale because there is so many amazing books that you can get for really cheap at, at other places. Like I love bookstores. I love going to them, but I usually stick in the sale section when I'm in them anyways. Um, so this haul that we're going to be going through today, ooh, it has two, four, six, eight books in it and this is all from the used bookstore or the thrift store so without further ado let's just get right into the haul so the first book that i purchased was the adventures of huckleberry finn and this is not a book that i've read before but as you guys should know by watching my videos by now i love classics and i want to read all of the good classics <laughs> so i just have been collecting ones that i see that i think would be really good and the adventures of huckleberry finn is definitely one of them i know this is kind of more of like a kid's story but i'm excited about it the next book that i picked up was full dark no stars by stephen king and this one i honestly have no idea what this is about there is no synopsis anywhere in here which that drives me absolutely insane when books do this when they don't have a synopsis like all it has is like just raves about this book like just reviews on the back and that drives me nuts because i don't know what it is about but um at the thrift store that i was shopping at they had a sale on where if you buy four books you get one free so this is my free one. I couldn't find anything else. I just thought, well, Stephen King, like I might like it. So I guess we will see. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you know what this is about. <laughs> the next book that I got was The Outliers, 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 I think, by Kimberly McRae. I apologize. Um, and it says, trust your instincts. It all starts with the text. Please, Wiley, I need your help. Wiley hasn't heard from Cassie in over a week, not since their last fight. But that doesn't matter. Cassie's in trouble, so Wiley decides to do what she has done so many times before. Put her own problems aside and save her best friend from herself. I think we all know somebody like that in our lives, don't you? This time it's different, though. Instead of telling Wiley where she is, Cassie sends only cryptic, only cryptic texts and her boyfriend Jasper to help. Trusting the guy who sent Cassie off the rails doesn't feel right, but with Cassie's messages getting more frantic, Wiley has no choice but to go with him. As the texts lead Wiley and Jasper north into the dense woods of Maine, things go from difficult to, to dangerous fast. What isn't Cassie telling them, and could the truth be far worse than they imagined? A genre-bending mystery with ingenious speculative twist, the Outliers brilliantly chronicles what it would mean to learn that your greatest weakness might in fact be your most important strength. Sounds good. The next book that I picked up is Wicked Resurrection, and I have, this is the third in a trilogy, I believe. Is it a trilogy or is it a series? I'm not sure, but I have the first and second uh, books to this, and this is the third, and this is about a girl, and I believe her name is actually Holly. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and I, I read the first one, but I read it so long ago that I can't really remember 100% what it's about. And I think I read it like shortly after my son was born. So like, that's just all, all fuzzy. <laughs> so I might have to reread it. Um, but I believe that Holly figures out that she's a witch and that she's from like a family of women who are witches. And I believe that her parents also die in like, a, like I believe that it's set where she's going to live with her cousin, her aunt and her two cousins, and they all kind of realize that they're witches. So yeah, it was pretty good. The first one was good and I still have the second one that I have not read and then now I just picked up this third one because it was there and I have not seen it anywhere else. The next book that I picked up was Enchanted by Althea Contis and this one says, what are you doing? Sunday's head snapped up from her journal. She had chosen the spot for its solitude, followed, followed the half-hidden path through the underbrush to the decaying rocks of the abandoned well, sure that she had escaped her family. And yet, the voice that had interrupted her thoughts was not familiar to her. Her eyes took a moment to adjust, slowly focusing on the mottled shadows. The afternoon sun cast blue dancing leaves. I'm sorry? She posed the polite query to her unknown visitor, 
in an effort to make him reveal himself, be he real or imagined, dead or alive, fairy or... I said, what are you doing? Frog. Well, this one sounds like pretty, pretty cute. This is like obviously some sort of like fairy tale. And this one actually was given to me by my mom. She just like thought that I would find it's kind of cute because she had seen when I was reading the Lunar Chronicles, I was telling her about it and they're of course all retellings. Um, so she thought this one would be kind of cute. So this one looks like a retelling of The Princess and the Frog. The next book that I got was Give Me the Child by Mel McGrath. It says, an unexpected visitor. Dr. Cat Lupo aches for another child despite the psychosis that marked her first pregnancy. So when Ruby Winter, a small girl in need of help, arrives in the middle of the night, it seems like fate. But as the events behind Ruby's arrival emerge, her mother's death, her connection to Kat, Kat begins to wonder whether her decision to help Ruby has put her own daughter at risk. Kat's research tells her there is no such thing as evil. Her history tells her she's paranoid, but her instincts tell her different. And as the police fight to control a sudden spate of riots raging across the capital, Kat faces a race against it time of her own. So that one sounds good. Sounds pretty creepy. The next book, um, this one is The Magpie Murders by Anthony Horowitz. And it says Alan Conway is a best-selling crime writer. His editor, Susan Ryland, has worked with him for years, and she's intimately familiar with his dis with his detective Atticus Pund, who solves mysteries disturbing English, disturbing sleepy English villages. Ellen's traditional formula pays homage to the queen of classic British crime such as Agatha Christie and Dorothy L. Sayers. It has proved hugely successful. So successful that Susan must continue to put up with his troubling behavior if she wants to keep her job. When Susan receives Alan's latest manuscript, in which Atticus Pund investigates a murder at Pie Hall, an English manor house, she has no reason to think it will be any different from the others. There will be dead bodies, a cast of intriguing suspects, and plenty of red herrings and clues. But the more Susan reads, the more she realizes that there is another story hidden in the pages of this manuscript, one with ambition, jealousy, and greed, and that will soon lead to murder. Deviously dark, clever, and ruthlessly suspenseful, Magpie Murders is a mis masterful take on vintage crime fiction. So that one sounds interesting. I love old like mysteries like that. And I really, actually really like this cover as well. It's really pretty. The last book that I picked up was Five Complete Novels of Murder and Detection by Agatha Christie. I'm a huge Agatha Christie fan. This is the type of mysteries that I absolutely love. And so this one has Ten Little Indians, Peril at End House, The Murder at Hazelmoor, Easy to Kill, and Evil Under the Sun. So there's five different novels all in this book, and I know that I will love it. I love Agatha Christie's work. I haven't read any of these novels by her, but I have read other ones that I absolutely really, really enjoyed. Well, you guys, that is it for my haul, for my, I guess, like, it was from several different bookstores, um, used bookstores, so I guess it's a used bookstore haul? I don't know. In any case, that is it for my haul. That was the eight books that I picked up recently. Let me know once again in the comments down below if you have read any of them and what your thoughts are on them. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!